Patrick, this is Tyler here at Troncali. I have uh, gone around this Challenger that you have asked about and have found that there are a bunch of modifications done to the car. A lot of it that I can tell is aesthetic. There is some functional. We'll start right up here under the hood. It looks like the, whoever had this kind of made it into a show car. They have dressed up the, in, the uh, under hood with, um, this looks like dress up items from a company called Billet Tech. It's a pretty popular company amongst Mopar folks. I'm part of the Atlanta Mopar Club and they uh, see Billet Technology. It's You can get parts from, from them to dress up engine compartments. You see you got uh, the cover here to uh, cover up the bolts and such there for the strut tower brace that was added. Looks like he added a 6.1 liter uh, intake manifold. This is not the normal intake manifold for a 5.7. That is for a 6.1. You can see it's it's aluminum. It's not plastic. Um, we've got a catch can here. Mopar cold air intake. You see you've got mirrors and such underneath. Again, this is for uh, for dress up. But the uh, intake, of course, is performance. Vehicle looks like it has been lowered, though I can't tell by how much and what suspension is underneath it. Inside, a lot of things have been changed as well. I noticed right away that we've got different plates here on the uh, door. We've got uh, a different turn signal stock. This right here is normally black. Different headlight knob. It looks like it was kind of a, a billet tech display car, if you will. We'll go ahead and get inside, and I've noticed also that the, uh, we'll get it started up. These, the uh, gauges are also different than what I'm normal, that I normally see on a Challenger. They all look a little different. They kind of have a, a, a retro font, if you will. But uh, right here, this little trim piece, all these trim pieces are all different than what it was originally. Um, the window sticker is here. I'll go ahead and get that out here for you. And this is what it did come new with. And of course, if you see something you want to read more closely, just hit the pause button. There is all your standard equipment. Optional equipment comes in down here. That's what I've noticed in the car. It does have a lot of modifications. You also have, uh, he installed a um, front and rear cameras in the car. So you can see what's going on in front of and behind you and such. There's behind you. But uh, the, even the start button has been changed. I believe he installed a uh, pedal kit so again just uh just a heads up there's a lot of, of things done to the car aesthetically i haven't looked in the trunk yet so i'm gonna find that out together what's been done back here got a fire extinguisher sitting there there's your floor mats let's see if it's anything done up and under here no nope, all that's standard issue stuff Mopar catback exhaust system and it says RSC technology on it that is uh, common with uh, Corsa brand exhaust that's what they use customer also installed these caps on the front and rear bumpers and uh, chrome molding down low so I hope this answered all your questions about everything the person previous owner did to this car Again, it seems to be uh, pretty extensive as far as aesthetics and a few things as far as performance. But if you uh, like what you see and want to come take it for a spin, just call me at three. Or excuse me, at four seven zero two nine six one seven seven eight. That's my cell. Again, four seven zero two nine six one seven seven eight. Thank you, Patrick.